Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Deshaun, and today we're going to be going over how to load in schematics into your world and how you can implement this into your plugin. So it's actually really simple, and I know I haven't gone over the World Edit API, but... That's okay, because I will in the future. And what we're doing today doesn't really involve too much of like the world selection that you would use in the World, IP, world Ed API. It's sort of its own sort of loader section of it. So <clears throat> anyways, let's get started. All the code will be available for you guys on GitHub. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and create our, uh, we can actually make a private here. So private void load, oops, load schematic. And this is just going to go ahead and take a player, player. And let's just go ahead and get the location of this player. So let's go ahead and import this. And this is going to be location. This can be player.get location. Let me just move my keyboard a little bit further away from my microphone. So first thing we have to do is we have to go ahead and get the world edit plugin, which is just going to be world edit plugin. And we want to go ahead, we can go ahead and do a check to see if it actually exists in our uh, plugin folder. I'm not going to since I already know that it does exist. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and get the plugin. And obviously you can go ahead and add the depends inside of your plugin.yml. Again, I'm not going to do that because I already know it's going to be there. But for you guys, you should go ahead and do that if uh, this is going to be a public plugin. So we just have to go ahead and get the schematic file. So this is going to be a new file. And it's going to be this .get data folder plus file.separator plus schematics and this is going to be house dot schematic so I already know this file exists again you could make a check here to make sure that this one directory exists and two that this file exists so again I'm not going to do that because I know it does and that's not what we're trying to teach you here so let's go ahead and make a try catch and let's just go ahead and fill up these catch statements quick because we already know this is going to be inside of them so this one's going to be max change block expression we're going to have data exception and we want the world edit world version of that and then we want to go ahead and get the io io exception and that's just going to be e and let's do e dot print stack trace okay so we're going to get errors there obviously because we don't have those things so let's just go ahead and do cuboid clipboard and we want to go ahead and grab clipboard and this is going to be mc edit schematic format dot gif format and then we're going to load in the schematic file and then we're going to get the schematic file here. So basically why we're putting it on the clipboard is because we want to be able to make changes to it. We're forgetting one more catch clause. Wait. Oh, I have the wrong IO exception. IO exception. There we go. So we want to be able to make changes to it by like pretty much only rotating the object or the, the schematic. But you can also do this so you can make sure like if you use this in a command, you can see if one, the schematic exists, and then you can have it so whatever chat the player does, you can say, would you like to rotate? Why yes? And then if they say uh, yes, then you can say enter in a 90, 80, you can say 90, 80, 270, 360. Obviously 360 would be pointless because I would just put it back to where it started, but you can sort of get the point there. So we're just gonna go ahead and do clipboard.rotate2d, and we're just gonna rotate at 90 degrees. Then what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna do clipboard, Dot paste and we're just going to paste the session which I did not make so let's go back up here we're gonna go ahead and get edit session we're gonna call session and we're gonna see world edit plugin dot get world edit dot get edit session factory and this is just basically allowing us to get the session that the uh, player is in so that way we can make changes to it and we can basically know the world that they're in. So we're just gonna go ahead and say get location, uh, get world, and then the max number of blocks that we want the player to be able to place with this uh, session. So we're just gonna put this at uh, 10,000 here. Uh, obviously my schematic is definitely not that large and I wouldn't advise pasting, having them be able to paste schematics that are really anything over a couple hundred blocks because that will really bog down your server. But then we're just going to go ahead and paste session and we're going to use a new vector and we want to make sure that we get the world edit vector and it's just going to be location.getx 
location.getY and location.getz. And then if we want no error, we're just going to go ahead and say false. OK, so really, we are done. But what we have to do is we have to make a way for this for something to load this method. So we're just going to go ahead and do a interact event just because it's really simple. And we can get uh, basically what we need right out of it. So we can go ahead and say play interact uh, event. And let's just go ahead and grab the player. Player equals event dot get player. And let's just go ahead and say if player dot get inventory dot get item in main hand dot get type dot equals. And if it equals material dot stick, we are going to go ahead and do load schematic. We're going to grab the player. And then we're also going to go ahead and send the player a message here. So we're just going to say check color dot green. And we'll say schematic has been loaded. Okay, so I know I went quack, quack. Yes, I went quack, I went quick. So I kind of want to explain what's happening here. So obviously we're grabbing the player's location, we're getting the world data plugin, we're grabbing the actual schematic file. So file in Java can be any file. Like it doesn't matter if this ending is literally .sc, right? It, that can load. But we want to grab this schematic file. Again, you can make a a little chunk here that checks to see if the file exists and if it doesn't it returns back i'm not going to do that since i know it exists then we are getting the edit session which is basically this the world that the players in and it allows us to see what they're able to do inside of this session then what we're doing is we are creating a clipboard and inside this clipboard it allows us to rotate it and i think you can really you can do a couple of things so i mean no that's it you can really just paste in clipboard and you can get a bunch of other things so if you wanted to get certain um things or certain properties you could get it from the clipboard then we are just pasting it with the session and in and then the location that we want it to go at obviously i want it to be right where the player is so let's just go ahead and export this now okay cool so i'm actually going to close my intellij because i've been having problems with my computer so i don't want it to crash so i want to do the least amount of stuff as i can on it at one time <laughs> so we're going to boot up the server here all right, so we are in our world here, and this is the schematic that we are going to be loading in. Obviously, if we go ahead and click without their stick, it doesn't do anything. But if we go ahead and click with our stick, you can see that the schematic has been loaded, and most of it has uh, the door works and the ladders work. Sometimes you'll run into an error where like doors, ladders, uh, trap doors, or whatever it is, uh, paintings and stuff like that uh, will break. Um, but for this time, it didn't. So that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. And also be sure to join our Discord and head into the suggestions tab and, or the suggestions channel and go ahead and suggest, suggest some future videos. But that's all I got for you guys today. And thank you so much for watching. And thank you again, thank you again for all the support. Sorry, I can't like talk today. But yeah, see you guys later.